Welcome back to another episode of Misplaced Garage. Today I'm gonna continue working on the uh, 99 Cobra here. <laughs> Update on the 99. I'm just going through and cleaning all of the parts that go back on the car because everything is just extremely gross. Figure while I have the timing cover out, I better throw in a new uh, harmonic balancer seal, so front main seal. Figure I should throw a new one in just to check off all my bases. Might use a little WD-40 just to get it in the slot. First I'll clean it out though. I bought some assembly loop for the engine, so I'm going to lube everything up before I start covering it up with like the timing cover and the valve covers, and hopefully I will have most of the covers on the engine today. Alrighty, just got the intake prep to go on. I uh, taped up all of the injector holes. And I also taped the top of this so I don't drop anything in. Unfortunately, when I was taking the, the uh, spark plug, or not spark plugs, but injectors out, I broke some of the caps off. So now I gotta replace those. I ordered a rebuild kit. We'll see if that works good enough. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, should be better with new O-rings and stuff in there anyways, so there's that. I don't really want to pay to replace these because these should be fine to use. So here we go to this. The lower intake manifold gaskets. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Keeps me going, keeps me making these videos, and hopefully some of you guys enjoy what I do. Because I know I enjoy doing this, and not everybody is able to, so leave me a like, comment, or subscribe, or whatever it is that you would like to do. Felpro gaskets are the only way to go. Perfect fit and finish every single time. Thank you. 
Alrighty, well, I couldn't find much information on torquing this intake down. I know I probably should have a manual, but I don't have one. I have one for every other car that I own, but, but this one. So I found out that it's about eight foot-pounds per bolt, so I don't have a torque wrench that does eight, so I just went with the feel on the ratchet. So if you guys have never replaced a filter in an injector, this is a quick and easy way of how to do it. I got a screw here that's perfectly sized to fit inside of the filter. I have an older one over here just to show you guys how it looks, but that can actually kind of slide on there a little bit, but once it tapers out, it's it'll screw into it basically. So it goes like that. There are really expensive tools to do this, but this is a good way I have found to do it. You kind of forcefully screw it on. You apply a good bit of pressure so that it actually screws on. And then eventually it'll spin its own way down. And then you give it a little wiggle all the ways and then you pull and then there. Come. Boom. 15 minutes later, all eight injectors are rebuilt. I guess rebuilt. I don't know if that's the proper term. I just replaced everything that can be replaced on an injector basically filter o-rings and this end cap and hopefully that should be better the old filters were pretty dirty so that is a sign that they probably weren't flowing as well as they could be and i'm guessing that those had never been re rebuilt or replaced or whatever the terminology is but now I can get them on the engine and this car can start going back together here real soon. Now that I got the injectors all rebuilt, those are good to go. And I'm letting you guys, Felpro literally never lets down. I was actually looking to buy these little gaskets get, go here, but I couldn't find any. And somehow they included them with this valve cover package. So that's pretty awesome. I, I couldn't find a part number for those things and I was kind of annoyed by it. But here we are, very happy with that purchase. Degreased this whole thing, wire brushed it, and sanded it a little bit. I'm just not a fan of the rusted look, so I'm gonna give it a coat of this high heat paint so it looks a little bit better under the engine bed. Before I go ahead and stick the uh, valve covers back on, I'm gonna go through the engine and just douse it one more time in this stuff just for good measure. I got half a bottle left, so may as well, you know. It won't hurt anything, but yeah, that's next up on the list is valve covers, injectors, fuel rails, and all that good stuff. The engine is slowly coming along, starting to look like an actual engine put back together. The, uh, both side valve covers are on so that was a success now I'm gonna start figuring out where all the wires go and all that and start plumbing up some injectors so I'm gonna spray it with WD-40 on the injector o-ring just to help it get into the slot so if it's wrong using WD-40 for that well whatever I've done it almost every time I've ever replaced an injector so cry about it <laughs> but nonetheless here we go I don't know if I have to take this off or not. Does that just snap in? Yeah, it goes like that. Cool.
Anyways guys, if you like the video and you like seeing the 99 Cobra on the channel, please give me a like, comment down below if you like seeing this thing, and I will see you in the next one.